Now the title and the thumbnail of this video do sound very serious and you might even think it's a clickbait, but unfortunately it's not. This video will be on HPV, human papilloma virus. We will cover what it is, what its symptoms are and how you can possibly prevent an infection and much much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you that are meeting me for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate my viewers so they can make healthier decisions. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer, I'm just a random doctor from the internet, I live in the Netherlands and what do I know about your personal situation? Indeed, completely nothing. So always contact your own doctor and now let's get learning. So let's start by taking a closer look at HPV. As mentioned, this stands for human papilloma virus and it's a group of virus types containing more than 200 viruses, some of which are very common. About 40 of them can infect your genital area, your vulva, vagina, cervix, rectum, anus, penis and scrotum, as well as your mouth and throat. And these locations they can infect explain why they are STIs, sexual transmitted infections or sexual transmittable infections. However, do not worry too much because 90% of all infections will resolve spontaneously within two years. But in some cases where the HPV infection persists, it may result either in warts or in something that is called a precancerous lesion. This is a medical term for abnormalities which can occur in a cell caused by HPV. Ultimately, this can lead to cancer. And depending on the site that is infected, this may cause cancer of the cervix, vulva, vagina, penis, anus, mouth, tonsils or throat. Here it is important to mention that just a few types of HPV cause almost all cases of cancer. HPV 16 and 18 cause 70% of all cases of cervical cancer due to HPV. HPV 16 also causes almost 90% of all cases of HPV positive mouth and throat cancer. And besides precancerous lesions and cancer, HPV can also cause warts. Warts on your hands, your feet, your face, your genital area, actually any piece of skin. Now we know what HPV is, it's finally time to answer or explain the title. Why you might have an HPV infection. And this has to do with the medical term prevalence, which is the number of cases of a disease that are present in a particular population at a given time. This number is high. Snoop Dogg high and depending on the study you want me to cite in this video, the prevalence rates can differ from 14% all the way up to 90% in some populations. Recent studies also confirmed HPV to be one of the most common STIs in the US. In fact, it's thought that about 70 to 80% of sexually active men and women will probably acquire a genital HPV infection at some point in their lives. Now I hope this establishes why the title of this video is no BS and if you want to reward my honesty please click that like and subscribe button this will help out the channel tremendously and you will never miss such an awesome medical video ever again. Let's continue. Which brings us to some useful tips and tricks to possibly prevent an HPV infection. First of all the best thing you can do is to avoid skin to skin contact or avoid having sexual intercourse, but if you're doing so, use a condom or dental dams. Furthermore, avoid sexual intercourse at an early age, as this can increase your risk for an HPV infection. Avoid having multiple sexual partners, and take extra care if you're a smoker or if you have an impaired immune system, as these last two can make you more susceptible for an HPV infection. And now you might start to wonder, when should I contact my personal doctor? And this is always a great question. Did you have unprotected sexual intercourse these last weeks to months? Did you have multiple bed partners? Do you have genital warts, a sore, blister, rash or discharge from your genitals? Do you have increasing amounts of pain from your genitals, night fevers or unexplainable weight loss? Or do you worry about possibly having an HPV infection? Then please, always contact your personal doctor. He or she might help you to find out the extent of your symptoms and might help you to find out the underlying cause of your symptoms. The doctor might do this by asking about your medical history, your current problems and symptoms, the medication you're using. And afterwards, your doctor might do a physical examination, some urine and blood tests, and in women, a vaginal swab test. If necessary, your doctor might refer you to a urologist. Now, this finally brings us to some possible treatment options. 
And here it is important to mention that unfortunately there is no cure for the HPV virus itself. This is not as bad as it sounds. Because remember, 90% of all cases resolve within two years. But we should also keep in the back of our minds that HPV nevertheless can be dangerous and therefore should be prevented as best as possible. As already mentioned, this can partially be done by the usage of condoms or dental dips. However, these don't provide full protection as these do not cover the false skin around your genitals. Therefore, the best option would be to get an HPV vaccine. Current vaccines protect against types of HPV that cause most cases of genital warts, cervical cancer, as well as some other types of cancer. Next up, even though there is no specific treatment for an HPV infection itself, the symptoms you might experience can be treated. For example, if you experience genital warts, these can be treated with some prescription drugs. The same is true for the multiple types of cancer HPV can cause, although these often require an intensive multidisciplinary treatment. I hope you know now what an HPV infection is, when you should contact your doctor, and more importantly, how you can prevent getting infection at the first place. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section because educated people make healthier decisions. And in that same light, also check out the playlist I put in the description. For those of you that did enjoy the video, that did learn something, please click that subscribe button and that like button. This will help out the channel tremendously and it will help me out reach my subscriber milestone of 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all, I'm posting weekly videos. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor tier supporter. And for those of you that can't get enough, check out the Instagram, at the Instagram as well, at How to Medicate. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye and stay healthy.